Hello, middle one. Today we're going to continue revising what we have studied during this term. Um, well, I'm going to revise with you unit six. And before uh, entering the vocabularies, uh, please go back to your booklet on page 14 and make sure that you know the meaning of these words before uh, revising or before checking your answers with me. Page 16, number one. They have challenged us to a football match this Saturday. Challenge is to compete or ask people to compete against you. So they have challenged number B. Number two, Mary put a lot of effort. Effort means power into this project. So number two, C. Number three, I was so that I was looking forward to a good night's sleep. I want to sleep. So this means that I was exhausted. Exhausted means tired. Number four, get some advice to develop your physical strength. To develop is to become better. Number five, the blade glided easily over his skin. The blade glided, moves easily. Number six, the president concluded his tour with a visit to a charity concert. Conclude means to bring it to an end. Number seven, cover both sides of meat with flour, shaking off any excess. Excess means something that um, it's over or more than what you want. Number eight, the two sides agree to exchange the prisoners of war. Exchange. Number nine, the new sports center will bring lasting benefit to the community. Number ten, do you find your work rewarding? Rewarding means makes you happy or give you pleasure. Number eleven, strong and wind. A strong current, of course, current of the water, current of electricity. Number 12, his task in releasing the hostages was successfully accomplished. Accomplished. Number 13, she has recovered from injury. Injury, it's a hurt. Number 14, she's an excellent athlete who is already making real impact impact we believe in the freedom of individuals individuals makes your mind calm gives you the time to think this is meditation meditation harry's problems are more psychological than physical psychological than physical there has been noticed reduction a reduction is to make something less number 19 our journey to new york city was a fabulous experience number 20 regular cleaning may help prevent infection and prevent means to stop Number 21, during summer school, our teachers help us in recreational, recreational activities, means activities for fun. 22, you'll have to excuse him. He's in under lots of stress. Stress. A training session will be held uh, after the lecture. Session means a period of time. Number 24, the government uh, should do more to stimulate the investments in Sinai. And the last one, I prefer to see animals in their natural, natural habitat rather than in zoos. Natural, something that is natural, not made by men. Okay? Now, the past simple and the past continuous on, in your booklet, page 21. Your booklet, page 21. I'm going to um, answer these questions with you. Please answer them and check with me your answers. Uncle Ben was so a burglar. 
while he here you have the word while what comes after while after why I need past continuous what's past continuous I need the verb to be in the past or was or where plus verb I and G so uncle uh, uncle Ben so a burglar while he was trying to break into the shop was trying Number two, we at the cinema a week ago. A week ago is past simple. So we met. We met. Past simple. Number three, she signs from six to eight yesterday. For a certain time in the past, this is past continuous. So she was studying. She was studying. Number four, as they home, they had an accident. As they, hmm, what comes after as? As they were driving. Were driving. Number five, when I was on holiday, I swam in the sea every day. I swam. So some of you asked me this question before miss here we have when so when after it passed the simple here i need past the continuous of course not this is when i was on holiday this is an act these two actions not one of them doesn't stop the other if you have two actions one stopped the other this means that one action past simple one action past continuous here when is a key word of the past simple so when i say when i was young when i was on holiday when i was little so when i was on holiday i swam number six as they Again, the word as, after as, past continuous. So as they were walking along the road, they met Michelle. As they were walking. Number seven, while, after while, past continuous. So while I was going. While I was going. Number eight, what? When I met you at the bank yesterday. So what? were you doing what were you doing number nine she came in just as just as after it was continuous so i was leaving number 10 i didn't hear the doorbell as i was sitting in the garden after as past continuous Number 10, while I was playing, I fell down. While I was playing, I fell down. Next page. As she, as she was cooking, was cooking. Number 13, Kate saw Tom while she was driving. Wasn't where? I-N-G. She was driving. Number 14, I hear the doorbell, so it means I didn't. I didn't. Here you have as, after as, past the continuous, and here I didn't, past the simple. Number 15, where did your father go? After did, verb infinitive. So where did your father go? Number 16, dad cut himself while he was shaving dad cut himself while he was shaving number 17 we were playing when it started to rain when it went to rain last week so we were playing when it started to rain Okay, that's unit six, and of course you have some expressions in this unit, and we, the idioms, we said that the idioms, you use them to give the same meaning, so for example, in number one, we have received, he, when he received his father, son's report, he was so angry, angry means hot under the collar, hot under the collar, so you're going to cancel, so angry, and put hot under 
under the collar. So when he received his son's report, he was hot under the collar. Number two, I kept talking. He, I kept talking to him, but he was absent-minded. Absent-minded means that he had his head in the clouds. So cancel absent-minded and put has his head in the clouds. Number three, when I entered the house, it was very quiet. Quiet means as silent as the grave. Quiet means as silent as the grave. And the number four, Sammy was very ill, and very ill means as sick as a dog. So what you do here is that you go to each sentence, you cancel the word that gives you the same meaning of this idiom. So hot under the cooler, very angry, so you cancel angry. Here, as silent as the grave means very quiet, so you cancel very quiet. As sick as a dog means very ill, so here you cancel the word very ill, and so on as as we did in, um, in these examples before. Okay, see you next time.